Hare Krishna. What we achieve depends not just on how we strive but also on what we believe. Some people think that achievement depends primarily on depends solely on hard work. Those who work the hardest will rise the highest. Well, that is not completely true. We do need to work hard, but hard work alone doesn't determine the success. It is our inner conceptions that also matter. That what is our belief? Oh, striving is external, believing is internal. Some people may go through the motions which are required for achieving something, but if they lack inner confidence, then those motions will not lead to success. Just changing the external actions alone is not enough. When people have some, uh, some self-belief, some self-confidence, then they can work extremely hard and their external endeavors also have a, a zeal, a zing to it which is not there otherwise. So essentially, outer, outer achievement, it is a result of both our actions and our conceptions, what we how we strive and what we believe. So what we believe means that what is our conception? So the Bhagavad Gita explains that there are multiple factors which combine to provide us the results of our actions and uh, it is our endeavor is important but then uh, there is divine grace also is important and when we have the faith that if we work that God helps those who help themselves how do we help ourselves by endeavoring endeavoring wholeheartedly not just externally in terms of our actions but endeavoring internally also to cultivate a mood of contribution that what we are doing is not just for our egoistic gratification but it is for our contribution then that belief helps us to grow and, and achieve that when we are working for a purpose bigger than ourselves then we can bring out our best and this is what the Bhagavad Gita indicates in 1133 to Arjuna. So, therefore you arise and attain victory. Jitva Shatrun Bhungshvarajyam Samriddham that you can conquer your enemies, you can have a prosperous kingdom. By my arrangement, your enemies have already been killed. But that doesn't mean you can just sit passively. You have to strive. You have to become an instrument. You are an expert warrior, ambidextrous. So then, use all your skill to fight wholeheartedly, Arjuna. And... By my grace, victory will be yours. So when we strive externally and believe internally, knowing that we are parts of the divine and are meant to contribute in the mood of service to the divine, then we can achieve great things without uh, becoming egoistic, without going into mood swings if success doesn't come. And the greatest thing that we will achieve ultimately is that we will become deeply absorbed in our Lord uh, and attain the Lord at the end of our lives. Thank you. Hare Krishna.